Today we'll be creating a film strip transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. So I am here in my Premiere where I prepared a sequence with two clips where we will be creating the film strip transition between them. To get this effect started, we first want to uh, go over here into our project and click this thing here and click uh, adjustment layer and hit OK. Once we have our adjustment layer, we want to apply it on top of our clips. We want to go one second to the left, drag our adjustment layer over here and then go one second to the right of our cut and cut our adjustment layer here. Now we have a two second adjustment layer here. Right. The first thing which we're going to apply to create this effect is an offset. So it is this one here on the video effects distort offset and just apply that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the start of my adjustment layer. I'm going to enable keyframes of the shift sensor too. Then I'm going to go to the end of my adjustment layer and I'm going to change the Y coordinate to 3780. And this number is 540 plus 1080 times 3. So we will get three like uh, full uh, swaps of the clip before we end up back in our uh, initial position. And to make this a little bit more smooth, we can select both of our keyframes like so. Select temporal interpolation, ease in, temporal interpolation, ease out. And what this will give us is this smooth curve here. So now it should like ramp up the speed and then ramp it down a little bit. But to make this ramp even more, what we can do is uh, manually like uh, change the keyframes a little bit. So I'm going to speed this one up a little bit and do the same one on the other one until I get something that I like. So something like this. So now we have this thing going on here. And I think that looks nice. Just going to cut our adjustment layer a little bit again. All right. So next up, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give this one some blur. This one does not have built in blur, so we need to add that manually. So I'm going to search for directional blur. And this one here under video effects, burn sharp and directional blur is the one we're going to apply. And what we want to do here is uh, go to the start of our adjustment layer, put a keyframe on the blur length, go to the middle, crank up the blur length to something like 50, then go to the end and then put down back down to zero. This blur length, we also want to uh, keyframes, just select all three. Ease in, ease out. So again, we get this kind of curve and just I want to match it a little bit to the curve above. So I'm going to select the first keyframe and drag it in a little bit and the second one, just drag it in a little bit. So we get something like this. Just so we have like this ramping blur and that will help us like hide the cut here. All right. Now that we got that thing going on, the next thing which we want to do is apply an edge feather. Like so. And this one I want to be at the, I want to go to the start of our adjustment layer. Oh, and I want to put it to zero. And I'm going to enable keyframes, go to the middle, put it to 100. Go to the start, put it to zero. Like so. So now we got this thing going on here. And it's starting to look like a film strip, but to make it look a little bit more like a film strip, the the order which we have these effects in, we need to change them a little bit. So I'm going to drag this one above our offset, the edge feather that is, and the directional blur I'm going to drag above that. So we get this thing going on here. And now it's really starting to look like a, um, like a film strip. The last thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to search for an effect called lens distortion. You just apply that. And then I'm going to go to the start of my adjustment layer like so. I'm going to enable keyframes and curvature. I'm going to go to the center. I'm going to put this one to 30. And I'm going to go to the end and put this one to zero. So now we have this white thing around and that does look nice. But basically just what you want to do is change the fill color here to black. But this gives us a problem. These edges here aren't as soft as these inner ones. So what we're going to do is copy our edge and feather by selecting it, Control C, Control V, paste it, put that in before our lens distortion. And now we got this really beautiful film strip transition. Take a look. But anyways, that was all I had for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, then please make sure to like this video and drop a comment down below letting me know which type of tutorial you would like to see next. And also make sure to click subscribe upload three times a week. But anyways, take care guys. Bye bye.